to group objects, select the objects you want to add to a group and then click on the group object button. Or choose group object from the object menu. You can ungroup objects by clicking on the ungroup objects button or from the object menu again. As you can see the currently assigned hotkeys are shown alongside the menu items as well. Once objects have been added to a group they will be labelled with the group number. If the group number doesn't show, press shift plus tab to open the view options and make sure you have group number ticked. Clicking on one object will now select all objects of that group. This means you can move the group around by just clicking on one of the objects, then drag it to the desired destination. Grouped objects allow you to change the volume levels simultaneously. You can temporarily exclude all objects from a group by going to the menu item Object, Select Objects, Temporary Exclude All Objects from Group. When this is selected you will see the Ungroup Objects button is now blinking. Once you have finished editing the objects outside of the group, it's just a matter of clicking on the flashing button and the objects will be regrouped as before. You can also temporarily remove a single object from a group. Click on the object that you want ungrouped, then use the hotkey Ctrl plus Shift plus U or menu item Object Select Objects, Temporary Exclude Object from Group. The object will then be deselected. When you've finished making changes, just select that object and press Ctrl plus Shift plus U. The object will be re-added to the group again. Groups are handy if you have something like a guitar riff or a backing vocal that repeats several times in a song. By grouping these parts, it means that if you adjust the volume on one part, all the other parts of that group will be changed as well. This saves you having to reselect individual objects every time. You can also move or copy these groups to another location in the song.